Hey guys, I'm back again with another video. I know it's been long overdue. It's just been really crazy. My schedule is a bit tight. But today we are doing a brand new case that I haven't done and showed you guys on my YouTube video. And today we are going to do a second toe amputation. Now this case is very, very easy. So I'm just gonna lay it all out for you. So I don't know about your hospital, but my hospital actually do have some podiatry residents and about two to three actually scrubs in with me. And this explains why I have a lot of gowns here and I haven't seen them right now, but I know they're here. So most of them, they bring their own gloves. So I only have the um, surgeon's gloves here and then I have extra gowns for them if you know they are coming. So, let's start with this tray. This tray that I have is called a hand tray. And we have a podiatry tray, but this one is just a very small case. So for anything foot, ankle, that has to do with, you know, your lower extremities, we always have a hand tray. And you know, it varies if they have some type of implants, then we have extra trays for that. But overall, anytime that we have these ankle foot cases, we always have a hand tray. All right, let's start with what I have on my mayo. It's just very, very, very basic. And some of these things are like a little overkill, but you know, I always like to lay all out for them. And if I see during the case that they don't use it as much, now I'll take it off. All right, let's start with the skin hooks over here. These are the double skin hooks here, and then there's the single ones. Um, I actually got punctured by one of these when I was handing it out. Like I was holding it like this and then I gave it and then they yanked it out of my finger and then it like sliced my pinky over here. But good thing it was clean so there's no issues. So when you're handing these out, just be very, very careful because they're very sharp, okay? Um, these are the elevators. There's um, bigger versions of these for orthopedic, but of course for ankle it's just very small. And I only put two sizes in there and I'm gonna show you guys later the other sizes. That's like a little ronger, you know, little cases, little rongers, and I have just one single curette with a very little tip to Raytex and for podiatry cases they love 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 the 15 blades so I have one two and three over here and, and the 10 blade is actually um, included in the small basin so I have no choice but to just keep it I have a little scissor here I'm not sure if that's an iris but it's like a little medicine bomb and a mosquito I have browns and to add since with teeth. Some surgeons likes brown, some likes plain, some likes add since with teeth. So I kind of give them like a variety and I just organize it in a way that it's easily seen. So it's really up to you how you wanna do this. With our new basin pack, it comes with these fun stuff over here. Usually we only have that, but now they have this and um, that extra cup over there. So um, today, I don't think I'm using any local, so there's nothing going on here. I'm gonna get saline later on. My Raytex all laid out. Um, I have my needle holders here. The Sharpie that came with it is pretty cool. The end is actually like a real, real marker that won't bleed, and then the top part is for the skin so that you know it doesn't really stain your, your skin. Um, so with the regular marker, if you use it on the skin, it actually bleeds and we don't want that. You don't want markers on your skin. We want something that's made for the skin, right? And I always have the drivers over here and scissors. Um, I did not open any sutures just yet because with podiatry um, residents, they tend to be um, indecisive. Sometimes they want 4 on nylon, sometimes they want 3 o PS2, PS1. You, you can never tell. So I try not to open, but I have them in the room just in case. All right, so this tray is a bit messy and our central sterile is amazing. So they know how to make it a little bit more organized. And so I just have my stringer over here and I have these scents, both sharp and dull. Sometimes they like to use these better than the, the, the skin hooks. I have them just organized here and these are the other elevators I talked about. 
just organize your strings now my thing with uh, organizing trays is that as long as I can see, I'm fine with it. But some people, they go above and beyond and put like um, a towel in there, organized everything. But I'm just not that type. As long as I can see it, it's fine and I know where it is. It, it's, it's, it's okay. So that's really very subjective. That's all up to you. But you can see here, these are the... Um, Ron drawers, uh, different sizing and pliers, and um, the Wheatlanders, both sharp and dull. I kind of separate them, and you can see over here I have all the curettes and the elevators more over here, and the sharp wheat. The shoot, I forgot what these are called, but we never really use these. That's for more like ortho. And these are the expanders. Are they called expanders? Spreaders, sorry. And then the Army Navy, sometimes they use it, so I, I always have them sitting there. Okay, so for podiatry residents, again, they like to stack a bunch of towels together and then use this, um, is this S mark? No, it's not S mark. I'm sorry, I'm like, <laughs> uh, I haven't had breakfast. So they use that to wrap the towels to use for like leverage so make sure with ankles and stuff you need to have enough towels this is probably not enough but um, i'll open more later and this basin i use to just put um the stuff that needs to go and in the field and your gown and glove here and then so for draping so this whole thing is actually an ortho pack and it comes with a um the half sheet this is the blue U and then there's a there's a paper U I'll show you guys later what I mean because that's kind of confusing um, and then there's a drape here that's like just a hole where you can just put your foot in it so it secures everything I know it doesn't make sense right now but I, I will show you guys later on the video once I find some drapes that are like not used and if a case get canceled I'll show you guys later but overall this is what we have. I know that's kind of not cute, but that's what it is. So my case is at 10 o'clock and it's currently 9.57. So you already know it's not gonna go on time. So yep, thank you guys for watching and I appreciate all you guys' support. Please leave a comment or subscribe and let me know what you think about this setup. Bye.